What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So it's been long time OnePlus have released Oxygen OS 12 stable builds for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro and 8T and we have been getting lot many comments regarding on how to route OnePlus 8 series running Oxygen OS 12. So in this video we'll show you guys how to unlock the bootloader and later route your device running Oxygen OS 12. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 will be routing this device. Let me show you the software information first by going to about section. Here you can see Android version is Android 12. Tapping on version it says C.11. So for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro version was C.11 which was the stable build of Oxygen OS 12. So talking about what all topics we'll be covering in this video. First we'll be covering unlocking the bootloader. Later we'll download the complete zip file of current firmware which is installed on a device. After that extracting boot image and guys I'll always recommend you to extract the boot image yourself instead of asking people on internet about the boot images to avoid boot loops. Later we'll patch the same boot image and at last we'll flash that same patched boot image and root a device. And guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video and we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now talking about the files required so here on the PC you can see I have OnePlus 8 stock firmware which is latest one and always make sure to use the same firmware which is running on your device so for example if you saw on my device OnePlus 8, we were running the version C.11. So for this particular video, right now we only have this build which is C.11. And in future, if you get more updates, make sure to use the latest firmware. And to download the latest firmware, either you can use the Oxygen OS updater application or you can keep in track on our channel. I keep uploading all the latest updates related to OnePlus. So in those videos description, I'll provide the zip files and always use the full zip file. You can download this application from Play Store later just go to settings and from here you need to enable advanced reboot for once to download the complete zip file. Go to the home page as you can see here this is the latest one for my OnePlus 8 and also make sure to enable or select stable full zip instead of incremental. After that you'll be requiring magisk manager. Again use always latest one platform tools boot image i'll tell you how to extract that and then we have adb setup so adb setup it's a simple exe file just double click on this and follow the on-screen instructions if you guys face any kind of issues installing adb drivers or fast boot drivers then make sure to watch the video which is being displayed on the screen so now first let's extract the boot image and we'll patch the same file so for that what you have to do is you need to extract the rom file we have already done it so here you can see we have the extracted rom file and here you'll find a file called payload.bin all the image files can be found inside this file so to extract payload.bin you need to use payload dumper so that can also be found in the description below just download unzip and place it anywhere on your pc so here you can see i have payload dumper and here i have also placed the extracted firmware of our oneplus 8 from here just copy the payload.bin and you need to place it inside payload underscore input as you can see here i've already placed it now just double click on this which is payload dumper and wait for the entire process to complete once it is completed you'll find all the files in the payload output folder so here you can see i've already extracted the files from payload.bin and we have all the files here so just copy the boot image so here we have the boot image i'll copy this along with the magisk apk and place it inside the internal storage of my device and guys while routing many users have been complaining that their fingerprint is completely broken after routing the device so if that's the case you can unroot your device or use msm tool to fix that but for me there are no issues i just recommend you guys to use the perfect boot image while routing your device so let's place these files inside the internal storage of my device i'll place both these files here once you are done on your device now go to file manager and install the magisk apk first tap on open now select the first option which is install from here select the second one which is select and patch a file and now redirect to boot image i'll select this boot image and tap on let's go so this will patch our boot image of current firmware and once it is done now you can find the patch boot image under download folder so here you can see this is the patch boot image 
which we recently patched. Now copy this file and if you guys have extracted the platform tools, so for example I'll extract platform tools here itself and again use the latest one and just place this file under platform tool which is the patch boot image. And now we are done with all the required files. So let's move on to unlocking the bootloader. So let's go to settings, about section, tap on the build number seven times until you see you are a developer now. Once that's enabled, go back, go to system settings, developer options. From here, first enable OEM unlocking and also enable USB debugging. Once you have all these things, make sure to take a backup of your device because unlocking bootloader will entirely wipe your data. So now let's open up command prompt in the platform tool. Easiest way is just type CMD in the address bar and hit enter. Now first thing what you have to do is you need to make sure that your PC have proper ADB or fastboot drivers installed. To check that you can open command prompt, give a command ADB devices and hit enter. So if you see this serial number, that means on your PC, you have properly installed ADB drivers. And if you don't see this serial number, then make sure to check out the video which is being displayed on the screen. Now what we'll do, we'll boot a device into fastboot mode. Instead of using the key combinations, you can just give the command which is fastboot. And sorry guys, command was ADB reboot bootloader. So let me close command prompt and open once again. Now let's give a command ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter now your device will boot into fast boot mode so as you can see your device has successfully booted into fast boot mode and here i'm not sure if you guys are able to see under device state it says logged so we'll give the command to unlock the bootloader that is fast boot oem unlock and guys make sure to take a backup before giving this command hit enter you'll see a pop-up on your device asking you whether to unlock or keep it locked. So you can use the volume keys to navigate. I'll select unlock bootloader and press the power key for confirmation. Now device will boot into stock recovery and perform a factory reset later boot into system. So now our device have been successfully booted up. You can complete the initial setup. If you want, you can add your Google account also. So now we have completed the initial setup. Now what I'll do is I'll go to settings about section tapping on version again tap on build number seven times until you see you are a developer now later go to system settings developer options and if USB debugging is disabled make sure to enable it OEM unlocking we can't make any changes because we have already unlocked the device and also download root checker application again just copy the magisk manager and place it inside the internal storage of your device and now let's install this apk file so here we have the latest version of magisk and still the process is not completed guys we need to flash the patch boot image so as you can see here the device is not rooted yet and now let's again boot a device into fast boot mode to flash patch boot image so for that again we'll give the command adb reboot bootloader hit enter and now our device should boot into fast boot mode if you guys are able to see here it says device state unlocked now let's flash the patch boot image for that command is fast boot flash boot and you need to drag and drop the patch boot image so here we have the file i'll just drag and drop in the command prompt once done i'll hit enter so now we have successfully flashed the patch boot image now you can reboot your device by giving the command fast boot reboot so now our device have been successfully booted up. Let me see whether root checker application is being downloaded. Okay, so it's not yet downloaded. Let me download this APK or the app. And if I go to Magisk, it will give you a pop-up required additional setup. Just tap on OK and your device will again reboot once. So we are again back into the system. Now let's check using root checker application, tapping on verify root. And here we have a pop-up from super user. Tap on grant. And there you can see your device have been successfully routed. And as I said earlier that many users were facing issues with the fingerprint scanner. So let's take a look at that also whether it's working fine or not. Going to password and security, tapping on fingerprint and now let me try to enroll my finger. So as you can see we have successfully added our fingerprint. Now let me try to unlock the device using fingerprint. And there we go. So using this method doesn't affect your fingerprint scanner or any other things on your device. So guys, this was a quick guide on routing OnePlus 8 series running Oxygen OS 12. 
if you still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below or you can drop me a message on a telegram or instagram as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to a channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day